so here's the state of the four batter five batteries. That is the um, negative most um, to the positive most. So that's the negative cell, or not negative cell, um, because on here the negative most cell is this one. So it goes negative uh, cell one, two, three, four, five, and if I had a sixth one, it'd be here, which I don't. So, so we have this is cell one, two, three. Four, five. So my Sony's I charge already, so they had a full, full charge. This one did not, so I'm balancing them all. So people will say never to do that because the batteries you use need to be all the same makeup and chemical and charge state and um, manufacture and everything, you know, chemical makeup and everything. So otherwise you'll have an unbalancing while charging and discharging, which I 100% agree with. But hey, I'm using garbage batteries that I've recycled. So, I got a lot up there, a lot here, a lot more underneath, over there. You probably can't see them, but they're more over there. Some here. I think I have some more up here on my shelf somewhere. But, um, anyways, so I didn't get to um, assembling the pack yet. So, because I had to run to the store and get some food. So, the cells will all be charged once they all hit 4.2. So the first most cell, this one, that one's fully charged already. So, right there, it's 4.2. And then uh, 3.98, that's the lowest one. So, not bad. The Sony's are not bad. So it's that one Samsung or Sanyo, I forget which one it is. It's one of those two. Um, that one is, um, I think that one's a Samsung. That one's the only one that's not charged. Um, and then my idea here is to charge um, the balance cables. I'm probably going to get my knife here, my cheapo knife, and cut a notch right here and have the notch right here so you cannot pull this out so there's, you're not putting stress on there. Then I'm just going to hot glue that in place just for right now until I can get the actual um, connector on there. And then. Um, so that way I can assemble it and then um, um, charge it, you know, from outside the cell without having to open it to charge it. So that's my plan. That's my goal. And once this thing here has a good charge on it here, uh, get, there we go, a little $20 charger on eBay here. So I'm doing a 2 amp charge and it's been going for over an hour. So two amps at 15 volt or 18 volt is um, 36 watts and I'm using a 5 amp 12 volt brick which is about 60 watt so I'm just not I'm not trying to make this stuff run hot and that's this is not even warm yet it's been running for almost two hours uh, about an hour and a half I think about an hour and a half so I'm thinking another 20 minutes and that should be full and then um, I'll get my cheapo knife there, cut the notch in there, put some hot glue in there, put the cover back on, solder the, I still have to solder these leads here that go to the connector there for the, for the um, drill. So once I get those things soldered back on there, and by the way, they use horrible quality solder on these things. I don't know how they got them on there in the, to begin with. You know, the, the, the quality was so bad. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't want to talk about it, so I think I'm just going to cut the leads off and put my own solder on them. So, but that's it. So, once this is charged, I may go to bed and finish it in the morning, but, um, I want to, um, get some more of this done so I can take apart my uh, front door. So, I need a drill for that. Been going for about two hours and 15 minutes so far and it looks like all of them are taking a charge except for that one right there on the bottom left that one's still uh, 3.96 so that one's probably a bad cell I might have to unsolder all that and change it great so but that's why you use a balance charger so you know what's going on you know what kind of batteries you have because I know a bunch of these are bad so I won't even waste my time with those gonna go
this go for like another 10 minutes or so and then stop it. Because I don't want to uh, damage anything. Okay, so, um, focus you. The glare is horrible here. So you can see they're all pretty much close, except for that one. So, that red, those orange cells, or red cells, or whatever, those ones are not good. So, um, I'm going to leave them in the charger for her and battery for right now because I have a project I need to get done. And once the project's done, I will take things apart and find, find the cells that better match them. So, anyways, so that's finally finished after almost three hours. So I'm getting ready to go to bed. So I'm going to shave everything off, go to bed, and then after church I'm going to continue. So, thank you. I uh, decided not to go to bed. Um, what I've done so far is I put the piece of cardboard in here. I'm going to position it right. I cut my little notch rather than I melted it with my soldering iron. I gave up with that silly knife. And the plastic is doesn't like to cut real well. So I just used fire again, you know, and I heated it up and pushed the soldering iron through it. So it's all nice and perfect now. I so you put some hot glue on there. I'll probably do that tomorrow. But all this is assembled, soldered on. So the positive goes to the positive because it has that ring right there. Negative going to the negative because there's no ring. That's the negative. That's the positive. And just for the record, these cells are called 18650 cells. They're very common. Uh, 18 uh, it means it's 18 millimeters in diameter. 650 means it's 65 millimeters long. So, um, so, for instance, it's an IR, ICR, it's a chemical makeup, 18650. And then those are identification marks. I haven't looked those up yet, but so these are just nice Samsung cell. Um, so I'm going to reassemble it and test it out. It's already charged. And there's the charge lead for the balancer. And then uh, the balance needs the balance charger needs this and the positive and negative, which is on top of here. So I'm going to make a adapter for it. I'll probably use the silly base that came with here. Uh, focus you. I'll probably use the silly base that it came with somehow and um, modify this retarded jack and put something else on there. Some more user friendly for the balance charger. Anyways, so um, I'll assemble this real quick, put the top on there, and uh, sure, and then I'll get all tested tonight. One thing I forgot to mention here just now is there's a lot of free space. These cells are actually slightly, when they're in this position laying down, they're actually shorter than the original cells. So we need to be able to fill this in, the space. So what I've done, I'm using a high-tech material called packing bubble stuff. The stuff that you pop when you're a kid. So I'm going to use this to um, fill in the dead space and keep the batteries from rattling around. So um, this is what I'm, this is my solution because my way is there's always a simple solution to every problem. So that's my simple solution. Okay, I got it all back together. I don't, well, not all back together. There's still a spot there I had to reassemble, but enough. I have not powered it yet. I wanted to get it on video. Beautiful, just like brand new. So I'm going to take it to the front door tomorrow in the morning and take the screws out of the door. So that's my next project. Maybe I'll record that and show you guys what I do.